so let us try to understand the AC generator okay so this is the north pole uh, this is shown to be a permanent magnet but actually it is not okay in the real generator this is not a permanent magnet and and there are coils right so 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 this coil comes all the way passes this passes from here and comes here and this coil comes and connects to the other brush so 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 to this ring right now 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 this this part the this part this is the the shaded one that is a carbon brush so there is a north pole south pole we have shown one coil one coil and hanging in air in reality there is a rotor in which this is embedded so there is actually a there is actually a rotor in which this is embedded there is a rotor in which it is embedded okay and this rotor has has slots has slots okay in which you put these coils hope you understand there's a there's a slot here as well okay so 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 this slot sorry sorry so 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 the coil goes in that and there is an opposite there is a slot here also so you understand this coil comes like this and and goes like that so it's not hanging in air and there is not only one coil to to use it sufficiently we we use multiple coils fine but this is to understand the theory of whatever is happening fine so 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 let me first write about the construction how is it made so between north and south pole of a permanent magnet of a permanent magnet we have a coil we have coil in the we have a coil in reality in reality the coil is mounted on a rotor on a rotor and there are multiple coils and there are multiple coils okay multiple coils now now what these are two rings right this is and this and this they are two rings i'll name them R1 and R2 so so this is R1 and R2 so 
R1 and R2 are copper rings to which the to which the to which the ends of the wire so let us say this is a b c and d to which the end b and to which end c and b are connected okay now the rings rotate with the coil these rings rotate with the coil correct these rings rotate with the coil and this b1 and b2 are carbon brushes okay so b1 and b2 are carbon brushes which are stationary which are stationary they do not move so this ring actually slips over the slips over the the carbon brush and many a times is also called a slip ring okay they are called slip ring what is the spring they are also called they are called slip rings okay slip rings now what happens these brushes they require some pressure to be pressing against the against the copper ring so so that's why this is a spring that is that keeps it in place okay and and with as the motor runs there is a wear and tear in this ring so this has to be replaced over a period of time you know so so when the when it gets gets worn out it is the it is the force of the spring that push pushes it ahead so it never loses contact with the copper rings right fine so do we understand right now these are made up of graphite the the brushes these are made of graphite why graphite <coughs> you need a because graphite is soft that is one but most important and is a good conductor of electricity and is a good conductor of electricity right do we get the point so it's a good conductor of electricity okay now what is the what is the working how does it work see what happens suppose suppose it turns like this suppose it turns like this okay that is looking from this direction in a clockwise direction right it turns in a clockwise direction do i erase this this one this 
that was the rotor that I had drawn. Okay. Now what happens? What happens? If this is going up, this part of the coil is going up, AB. Just see here. If AB is going up, okay? So AB is going up, along with this, the electrons are going up. Correct? So, so V is this and B is this. This is V, this is going up, no? In, in the position that I have shown it, a B is going up, so so this is my V and this is my B. So V cross B is <coughs> V cross B is into the board. But I multiply it with Q. So so it comes out of the board. That means the force on the electrons is out of the board, but electrons moving out of the board is current moving into the board. So, in this situation, the, the situation which is shown here, the current is into the board here and similarly, for this, the V is down, B is like that. So, V, B, V cross B is out, but multiplied by Q, it is in, electrons moving in, is current moving out. So, out. Yes, yes. See, this AB, AB is going up, right? So, V is up. What is the direction of B? B is like that, north to south, north to south. <coughs> so, V cross B is, V cross B is into the board, into the board. That multiplied by Q is outside the board because Q is negative. It is the electrons which will flow. A scalar multiplication of a vector by a negative number flips the direction. So Q V cross B is out. And what else? The direction of current is there. Similarly, in C D, the direction of current is there, coming out. Now what happens due to that? This circuit sees a current going out while this circuit sees a current going in. That's how the circuit will get completed. Okay. Obviously, obviously there will be there will be some kind of load out here. Is it not? So you see the circuit getting completed. Now what happens after a rotation is completed? See this first, then then right. After a rotation is completed, the half a rotation is completed, this C D comes here and this A B comes here. Right? Now C D had a current coming in this direction. But when it reaches here, when CD reaches in the place of AB, it will have a current that will be going in because it is in a similar situation as AB was mm -hmm. just half a rotation back, right? So what happens? This which was giving the current out from this end will start taking the current in. So when after half a rotation, there is there this becomes the direction of current in cd because this is connected to the cd this ring is always connected to the to cd and and this starts giving the current out now what see what happens so the current in half a cycle was like that in, and in the other half it changed direction and that's why it is called an alternating current do we get the point do we get the point so that is how it works. So, so, so what I'll be writing here is working is due to the movement of the coil in the magnetic field. And who is rotating it? This mechanical energy input has to be given by you. So if you rotate it by turbine, which is rotated by steam, which is generated by coal, it becomes a thermal power plant. If it is generated, if the if the if the if the water is heated by if the water is heated by nuclear energy, it becomes nuclear power plant. If it is rotated by 
water, it becomes hydroelectric plant. And if it is rotated by wind, it becomes wind energy. But the, but the principle remains the same. There are some design changes that are to be done, but, but uh, you, you, uh, it's beyond your scope right now. For example, in hydroelectric power, the number of poles have to be very high because it is a slow rotating system. So you will get 32 poles, but you forget what poles are. These, these poles of the magnet, okay, because you have to maintain a frequency of 50 hertz. So due to the movement of the coil in the magnetic field by a mechanical input by a due to the movement of the coil in the magnetic field by a mechanical source which may be a turbine which may be wind which may be water and EMF gets induced in the coil and EMF gets induced in the coil and it circulates a current which changes direction in every which changes direction in every half cycle in every half cycle okay so there's a change in the direction of current in every half cycle this current is called alternating current this current is called alternating current it's called alternating current you see that this is called an alternating current this is load this is the load now we'd like to have we'd like to have an expression for this okay so 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 So, so what is the principle of working? What is the principle of working? Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, is it not? Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. Correct. It is Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. Fine. Now we'd like to develop an expression for the EMF that is induced. Fine. We have to quantify it. So 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 let us try to understand in at t equal to zero let the coil be like this vertical not the way it is shown but vertical okay at t is equal to zero at t is equal to zero let the angle between the let the angle between the field 